Empowerment TV. I am absolutely excited to be talking to you about a summer savings plan. That's right, I wanna make sure that your funds do not have an impact on your fun. That right there needs to be hashtag. Do not let your funds impact your fun. I love it. All right, so for those of you who didn't think that's funny, don't worry about it because I'm going to throw you some money. And for those of you who thought it was funny, don't worry about it because I'm going to throw you some money. You ready? Let's get yourself paid. Open up your spiritual purse, your actual purse, your feel-good purse, your auntie's purse, my purse. You ready? Let's go. I hope you feel a whole lot wealthier because I do. Every time that I give you money, empower you with some wealth wisdom, I feel richer and I hope that you do too. All right, so let's get into it today. Let's talk about this summer savings plan, all right? So either you are already maybe about two days into your summer or you're knee deep in your summer where you're finding this video and hopefully you'll find some wealth wisdom that'll help you navigate through the summer so that you can have a more memorable summer. If not this year, it can help you out for the next one, okay? So the first thing that has to happen number one you have to have a come to Jesus conversation that's right you can either have it with yourself or you can have it with your family either way you got to have the conversation so that's first part move number one what do I want this summer to look like do I want to go to Venice am I going to get a new wardrobe am I going on vacation am I going to pit my ride Whatever it is, you're going to sit there and dream it out. You're going to say, this is what I want. This is what I want either for myself or for my family to experience this summer, okay? So the second thing you're going to do, you're going to say, how much is all of this going to cost me? How much is this going to cost? I'm going to do a cost analysis. So already, what's on my summer plan is number one, I always want to make sure that we get some level of relaxation because all the time we're always optimizing. Both me and my husband are always in pure optimization. So we actually need someone to kind of say, hey, guys, knock it off. All right. So one thing you need to do is plan some level of relaxation. That's on our list. And we want our children to remain culture because we don't want them to have all of their experiences from books because we shove their heads in books all the time. But we want them to have some vivid experiences. OK, so that's on our list. Number three, I want to have this big water gun fight. I know. I know. You want one to. I know. Water gun fights are so fun. Right. But we don't necessarily want to plan the water gun fight maybe about two weeks before and like, hey, we're gonna get all these people together, we're gonna have this family-wide water gun fight. That's not something that we're gonna do because there's gonna be all kind of expenses that we didn't necessarily plan for. Someone's gonna want a watermelon, somebody's gonna want a hot dog, someone's gonna want baked beans, plates, and the water guns, right? So now that we're kind of planning that out, our fun is not going to happen to our funds. We're actually going to project that experience so that we can allocate, hey, how, much, how many water guns are we going to buy? How much is this water gun going to cost? How much is this going to cost? How much is park going to cost? All of those things are being forecast. So go back to number one. One, you're going to say what the heck I want this summer to look like, okay? Then number two, you're going to do a cost analysis so you can basically know how much all of this is going to cost me. And here's the thing that I love the most. What do I plan to give in exchange for what it is that I say that I really want? Does it mean that I'm going to have to do some more hours at work? Do I need to pick up a part time? Do I need to get rid of my cable? Do I need to bump down my bump down my phone bill? What kind of things am I going to do in exchange? Maybe I can bump up the production to make sure that I can get some of the things that I want. Have I already been saving? Can I look around in my savings and say, hey, maybe we can't do a full-fledged vacation, but maybe we can do a staycation. Maybe we can do something inside of our home. The whole idea is to make sure that this summer you get some level of relaxation, okay? Relaxation that doesn't impact your fun with your funds. I do hope that you have found at least one thing that you can connect with to make sure that you get some relaxation in this season of your life. Again, if you would like to get access to my summer savings plan and you would like to look what it, you would like to see what it looks like and how you can craft out your very own, you know that you can either Go ahead and drop that comment down there and say, hey, Shawnee, I would like to get my hands on that summer's plan. You can go to personpowerment.com and say the same thing, or you can just shoot me an email and say, Shawnee, I would like to get that summer savings plan. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you next time.